Today is an impact day and the uh, the reason for that is because we are expecting some widely scattered storms late in the afternoon and into tonight. Not everybody will see those storms at the uh, the higher threat looks to be across some of our northern counties, but we think the main time frame between about four o'clock late in the afternoon through about 10 o'clock later on tonight and a few of those could briefly reach severe limits. There is a low end threat that a couple of those maybe could produce some strong wind and maybe even some large hail too. So here's a look at our severe weather risk map and, and this morning the uh, the, Nash, the uh, storms prediction center rather introduced a slight risk for a few of our northwestern counties. So that does include Hamilton, Fayette, Jasper and Coleman. And so here is a uh, and then a marginal threat as you go further south. So that is a, a two out of five here under uh, those areas that are under the slight risk. As far as timing is concerned between four and eight o'clock, that's when we think the storms will start to push into northwest Alabama. So Hamilton, Hackleburg, Haleyville, Coleman, and then for places like a Fayette, Carbon Hill, Jasper, Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Gadsden, and over towards center and then down near Pell City, Springville, Odenville. We think between five and nine o'clock uh, later on tonight. That doesn't mean that everybody in this area will see those storms, but this is the main time frame that we think this area will get some storms. And then after about uh, six or seven o'clock as you go further south, if those storms do indeed hold together for places like Greensboro and then down toward Jemison uh, and Clanton and over toward Rockford too. Headed to school this morning. We've got a few showers around. Most spots are still dry, just some clouds. It's muggy and then it's going to be pretty hot this afternoon. We'll climb into the 90s again out ahead of, of uh, any of those storms that uh, do develop and move in. This is Lee, Tropical Storm Lee, way out into the Atlantic. The National Hurricane Center strengthens this storm into a Category 4 hurricane with winds at 150 miles an hour late in the weekend and into early next week. Beyond the end of the official forecast track, forecast models do take it very, very close to the eastern seaboard. By next week, toward the end of next week, this is not this Friday, but next Friday, so about 9, 10 days from now. So the, uh, the eastern seaboard will really have to, uh, to keep a close eye on that storm uh, as it looks like it could uh, get dangerously close to maybe the mid-Atlantic states or the New England states. For us, we, uh, we get this front through here and then the humidity drops not as hot toward the end of the week and the weekend. Rick? Thanks, Steph. It's 546.